four years. We have been waiting four years for a confirmation, for information on Bladen Soul S. And as of February 2022, we kind of have a little bit more to discuss. See, NCSoft, they went ahead and they announced that they had a bunch of new video games, a bunch of new MMOs, a bunch of new RPGs that are currently in development. And Blade and Soul S was announced all the way back in 2018, but they've been pretty much radio silent on the game since. Now they went on to confirm that we're going to be getting new footage for the game sometime next month if everything goes according to plan. But there is an already existing trailer for Blade and Soul S. Blade and Soul S, according to MMO culture, is the third mobile game that is based on the Blade and Soul IP. Blade and Soul S is aimed at a wider audience with its super deformed character designs. Once again, this game is based on the original Blade and Soul PC title featuring a dynamic open world that changes in real time, which will affect combat. The story of Blade and Soul S takes place three years before the PC game, making it sort of a prequel. Basically, players can collect different characters found in the IP with new ones added as well. Unlike other Hero Collection mobile games, which uses the stage clear system, combat in Blade and Soul S takes place in the open world. World. Now we're gonna go ahead here real quick and take a look at the trailer for it because I have I've honestly never seen the trailer for Blade and Soul S and I'm curious to see these super deformed characters and this is set three years before the events of Blade and Soul on PC so it's going to be interesting if the story <laughs> continues to evolve because it being set only three years prior means that after a period of time the two games are going to catch up with one another. Unless they plan on taking this in a completely different direction. And having it completely unrelated to the PC game and the PC game story. Now I know for a fact this is not going to be the graphical style utilized in-game. This is merely a pre-rendered cinematic. Honestly though, some of these characters actually look pretty much exactly how they look in Blade and Soul. Uh, it's actually kind of funny to think about. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Sword Art Online movie. Where they all uh, group together to fight the level, the floor 100 boss. And that was the trailer. Didn't really get to see much. We don't really know much about Blade and Soul S right now, other than the fact that we're going to be getting more information next month. So I guess stay tuned.